federal government dealing with entire Igbo, not Nandikano. This is coming from Senator Victor Ome. Okay, guys, uh, some Southeasterners leaders are beginning to speak up about the treatment, you know, being meted on the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra by federal government of Nigeria. They're not really happy about what is going on and they feel that they are still being marginalized the uh, the way the federal government is actually treating the issue of Marzi in Nandikano. The former national chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abka, Chief Vito Ome, has said that the continued incarceration of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Nandikano, by President Muhammad Buhari, led federal government is a way of dealing with the entire Igbo nation. Okay, uh, Chief Omer is in a chat with reporters in Onicha yesterday, said he had told the federal government that the manner they are handling the issue of Kano is not the best way to the extent that the issue has become too big for Nigeria. They treat now the Kano issue as a personal thing it is not. Nandikano enjoys the solidarity and sympathy of Igbo people because he is calling for the demarginalization of Igbo. He wants the equality of citizenship rights for all in Nigeria. The government think it is Nandikano they are dealing with, not knowing that they are dealing with all of us, the entire Igbo nation, he said. The former senator that represented Onicha Central Senatorial Zone said, if the federal government of Nigeria addressed the grievances of the people, things, I beg your pardon, things would, would get better. It is important for the federal government to realize that they are dealing with the entire Igbo nation. And that has become so difficult for them to handle, he added. Omer said the issue of Namdekano is a simple thing to handle if they listen to the yearnings of Igbo people to ensure justice in the Nigerian nation. If they do it, there will be no problem. Once government changes its attitude towards Igbos, we will embrace Namdekano and ask him to allow this thing to lie. I know he will not do it as he did during the governorship i know he will do it as he did during the governorship election when the last governorship election became so tensed when it becomes obvious that the election may not take place they reached out to nandikano who called off the seat at home and ordered that everybody should go to the election people then became confident and participated in the election the senator said that the best thing is for the government to realize that they are not using the right approach. They are not. I have said this for the past six years. What I am telling you today is what I have told them for the past six years. Let them remove the hand of monkey from the pot of soup before it becomes the hands of human being. That is the way to go. He said an Omaha High Court has given the federal government the leeway by stating that Kano's arrest was illegal and therefore should be released. It's a judgment of a court, so it is better for President Buhari to obey the judgment of Omaha High Court and allow peace to reign in Nigeria and let us move forward as one people, he ended. Okay. Now the Nigerian, uh, can I say the Southeasterners are beginning to speak out. Uh, maybe the federal government might listen and do something about the release of Mazin and the Kano. But the way it's going, it seems that the federal government is still very, very adamant on this. You know, so many Nigerians have been saying this. The way they are going about these agitators and all that, this is not how to solve issues. In uh, an issue like this, such issue like this is very, very sensitive. And you don't, you don't solve war with war you solve war with peace and love but the federal government they are not saying it that way they are looking uh agitators like a threat to them but they refuse to check look into the root of agitations 
people are aggrieved. You don't even want, you don't even want to know why they are aggrieved. You don't want to know why they are, you know, agitating. Or you are just after, you know, you want to uh, 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 execute agitators and all that. Things does not work like that. Nigerians are speaking. People are talking. And as they are talking, these are all the voice of God. If Nigerian government continue this way, peace will not reign in this country. They are making it worse. They have to treat this issue carefully. If not, hmm, they should not forget that these agitators has given birth to themselves. In, in fact, the issue of agitation right now in Nigeria is no longer in the hands of their leaders, just like what is happening in the Southwest, Sunday Igbo, a Yoruba nation activist. It's no longer in their hands. They are just waiting to watch. People are just waiting to watch what the federal government will do. And you see them taking action. Why people are saying this is that if anything happened to these people, <laughs> By the time these people will start, maybe the federal government might not be able to contain it. That is the reason why people are saying, do the need for whatever ill advice the uh, president is getting. You should better check it. Let peace reign. This is a step one. Release these people and look into the agitations uh, 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 what is it called? Root, the root of agitations, and see if you people can address it. If these things, agitations here and there, will not end. This is what I always say. Before you, you crucify these people who are agitating because of the bad government and all that. You think if the Nigerian government actually doing the need for people will say no, I am no longer interested in this nation. I want to go. I want to go to our nation. Let's separate. Nobody will do that because everybody, you know, will be enjoying the old system. The, the federal government have to do something about this. Okay? You cannot just keep on going after agitators without looking into the roots of agitation. I'm saying this again. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.